Because I know a lot of you guys want to ride that thing like a rodeo. Hog tie it like a rodeo. And your girl Jay is giving you what you need to be successful. All right, you guys, so this portion of the video is sponsored by none other than Dossier. If you have never heard of Dossier, which I'm sure you have, because they are a very popular company, they are a company that provides high quality, luxury inspired fragrances at a bargain price. So they want us to smell nice for a decent price. Now Dossier ships your fragrances in a box that looks like this. The box allows the fragrance to sit nice and snug inside the box, so that you don't have to worry about it being damaged during shipment or anything like that. Dossier also offers the nice compact bottles, so it's very easy to throw in your gym bag, put in your purse, or keep it wherever it's convenient for you. Dossier also offers the magnetic tops. So the tops sit nice and snug on top of your fragrance, so you don't have to worry about it spilling. Now let's get into the fragrances that I chose. Again, I am a more sweet smelling fragrance lover. So I chose Florental Coconut, which is inspired by Tom Ford, Solil Blanco. I chose um, Aquatic Peony, which is inspired by Giorgio Armani, Aqua Di Gioa. And I also chose Florental Marshmallow, which is inspired by Killian, Love, Don't Be Shy, Ude Parfum. Now, they all smell amazing, but I do have my two fave picks, which is the Tom Ford Dupe. It has a nice, clean smell. So in my opinion, it could be unisex. It could be for a man or for a woman. And then the Aqua Di Gioa, I do have the authentic bottle of that one. And as you can, let me show y'all. And as you can see, it's empty. So uh, that is one of my faves. And when I say it smells identical to the authentic, it smells identical. So I think this bottle may run you somewhere. Um, this is the larger bottle, somewhere around 89 or something like that. You're not going to have to pay that price to get the exact same smell. So Dossier is delivering high quality fragrances, y'all. Now, if you would like to purchase any of the fragrances discussed in the video, or just go to the website and see what Dossier has to offer, I will include a link as well as a discount code so that you can save yourself an additional coin before checkout. Now, let's get into the video. What's up, what's up, what's up, squad family? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Jay Kareen. And if you have not already done so, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell, turn the notifications on so you know when your girl posts up on the channel, when she posts a new video to the channel. Now, y'all, this Houston weather, I don't know what the hell going on with it. It's cold as hell outside. It is cold. And I don't know why people do that cold as hell because hell is hot. So it how is it cold as hell? Anyways, it's cold outside, okay? But yesterday, we was in. it was like 80 degrees. Now, it last night for sure it was in the 30s um right now it's registered 43 but it's cold outside and you see your girl got your cur her curly wig on now <clears throat> now usually with this wig you got to put a little product you know put this i call it the super soaker my little water bottle put the super soaker on it but i didn't do that today so it's a little dry but don't y'all be judging me and worried about that i did not do it because see how it's hitting me in the face and resting on my shoulders that would have just made me feel even colder so i just threw it on Woom woom on the baby hairs, out the door. All right, so I'm headed to the Galleria because I got my little gift, my bestie got me, got my little gift. So I'm headed to the Galleria to see if I indeed do need a different size with my bracelet because the bracelet does seem a little bit too big. So um, like I said, I don't want to lose it or anything like that because I do have a small wrist. I have a small wrist. Y'all know when Ray Charles in the movie when he was trying to tell if the woman was big or small by their wrist, he would have been pissed off because my wrist is small, but I don't consider myself no, no small petite woman. So he would have been upset because this would have been straight foolery if he would have wrapped his arm around my wrist thinking I was a slender woman, okay? <laughs> no, I got a little meat on my bones. But anyways, I'm headed to the Galleria. Hopefully, you know, people decided to make themselves some hot cocoa, sit at home, and avoid getting out in this weather because I'm told there's normally a line at Louis Vuitton. 
And you know, I don't I'm, I don't frequently visit that place, so I don't have no relationship where I can call one of the SAs in there and say, hey, I'm standing outside in the line, so hopefully it's gonna be smooth sailing and we ain't gonna have too much, um, too many delays with getting my bracelet exchanged. I didn't have any issues parking. I got me a parking spot, but it had a 30 minute sign in front of it. It was a parking spot where you're supposed to run in and out, so I'm pressed for time, but I'm in here and this motherfucker is packed. But I'm going in, although accessories, cause I love accessories. Let's see what they got. Yeah, I know your girl love a good sale. This is the sale rack. And I love me some shades. So let's see what your girl gonna cop today. Today's pickups, I mean all those accessories. They got a big sale. Yeah, it's kind of loud in here, but I done stopped at all those accessories and I found these little leopard print glasses. Don't ask me why I bought them. This is why I need to be in the gallery of unsupervised. I got some glasses to make my little shirt that I got going on. That's a shirt situation. They cute though. I like them. So this is the line that I'm waiting in, along with Holland Babies and all that. This is the line that I'm waiting in. And I'm pressed for time. I told y'all I parked in that 30 minute parking, so I don't know if I'll be able to make it um, in a store and out the store in time. So we are gonna see. All right, so I finally made it to the front of the line. So let's see how quick I'm in and out. It looks like they are moving pretty quickly in there. I'm trying to figure out where everybody got all this money from because they need to tell me because I need a little bit because I did not think that the Louis Vuitton store in the gallery would be this crowded after Christmas. This is supposed to be the return only season, but they look like they buying big things up in here. And I ain't hating, I just want to know, show me where you get the money from. Okay, you guys, so with the bracelet situation that the bestie gave me for Christmas, um, I did go to the mall just so I can compare the fit between a smaller size and the size that she gave me because it does seem a little bit big and I just didn't want any mishaps with my bracelet. But um, the smaller size was actually a little bit too snug. So I did go ahead and stick with the size that I had. And so um, hopefully, you know, nothing will happen and everything will be fine. I love my little bracelet. See, it goes perfect with my mom bag. You see it, you see it. She knows me so well. And my other little mall pickups that I got today, I did get these because as you can see, it coordinates with my little, I got a little Nike shirt on, leopard print Nike shirt. And then, um, although accessories was having a sale, <clears throat> so I also got these little pickups. They were real cheap. These um, are to be worn around the house and they are very comfortable. Then I got some more little fashion glasses to wear when I'm out. I got these and I also got these now um Aldo did do me like Burlington did me y'all know I'll be complaining but Aldo did me they didn't have any bags so they had to wrap your stuff and put it in like this little trash bag but at least they better quality than what Burlington did the last time because y'all know that bag that Burlington put my stuff in I ain't even make it to the car for all my shit was all over the sidewalk and strangers having to stop and help me pick my shit up so at least that didn't happen but those are the pickles for today and that's the end result on the lv bracelet so there you have it all right y'all so y'all gotta excuse my background i got children playing a game on the computer but i'm in the kitchen getting ready to cook a little dinner we're gonna have uh, some chicken wings some mac and cheese box mac and cheese that is and we're gonna have some dinner rolls now let me show y'all the best yeast dinner rolls. Where's my package? Here we go. These are the best yeast dinner rolls. You cook these, then warm you up some butter, mix it with some sugar in the microwave, and drizzle it on top of them yeast rolls before you pop them bad boys in the oven. And what? Yes, indeed. They good. Good. And also. The box mac and cheese that I chose. Now, sometimes when you are attempting to lose weight or you may have a condition where you have a lot of inflammation in the body, arthritis, sometimes cutting gluten out of your diet will help with those things. If you didn't know, now you know. So we're trying this. Miss Ann is gluten-free, rich in creamy shells and cheese. Okay, so I'm a, I'll give y'all a review on that after I taste it. But 
it helps with, like I said, if you have a lot of inflammation in your body, arthritis, things like that. If you eliminate gluten out of your diet, it helps with those things. Just like if you have a lot of mucus congestion, if you take dairy out of your diet, it helps with that. So food can help with a lot of things that we have going on with the body. So I just schooled y'all a little bit and I'm not a healthcare professional. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not anything I know from experience. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm going to let y'all know how this tastes once the food gets done. All right, y'all. So look at the consistency. It is very creamy and cheesy. Now it's still all about the taste. So I'll be back. All right, so this is what I'm consuming for tonight, but the big verdict is still out on that gluten-free mac and cheese, so we can see how it tastes. All right, y'all, so I'm going to give y'all an up-and-close look. This is how it looks up and close. Now for the taste. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. It actually, to me, tastes better than Velveeta, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So anybody out there with gluten allergies or practicing a gluten-free diet, Miss Annie's shells and cheese is good. All right, now let me cut the camera off so I can devour this like a savage. Yeah, it is Monday. It is 7.50 a.m. It is 35 degrees. Like, I got smoke coming out my... That's how cold it is outside, y'all. And trust me, my joints knows that it's 35 degrees outside. Now, um, I'm headed to work, which I probably, you know, I, I, I shouldn't say probably. I still wish I was at the house, in the bed, under the cover. But the bills don't stop, so I'm headed to work. Now, I began my Operation Super Sexy. Airy season is fast approaching, so I got to, you know, get my whole life together. Ain't no more carrot cake and all that other stuff. This morning, the breakfast is, I had two boiled eggs. I got some emergency right here in my little cup. And that's what it is for this morning. Um, but while I'm headed to work, I wanted to have a little discussion. I have a topic that I want to present. And I think I'm going to represent the same topic at Pink Table Talk. Because I want to know the ladies' opinion. But I also want to know y'all's opinion. So, the topic is, if you're going to have a sexual encounter with a new partner, are you obligated to disclose what you can't and can't do, like your performance level? Like, are you obligated to disclose your rating? Are you still at a level one, level 10? Because, you know, back in the gap, when we were younger, I know you could probably go in, do a one-hand cartwheel, round off, land on the dick, swing from the ceiling fan, do the split, get back up, ride sideways, turn backwards. I know you used to could do all of that stuff. But now, well, let me speak for myself. Now, that ain't happening. My knees be hurting, okay? hurting so you're not supposed to beat me up like no pretzel and all that stuff so if you decide you don't want to take this ride you ain't gonna hurt my feelings you ain't gonna hurt my feelings at all because i'm telling you now that's not gonna happen this not gonna be a session to where afterwards i'm in urgent care no 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 no. that's not what's gonna happen so i want to know from you guys are you obligated to tell a new partner what you can and can't do because uh <laughs> these joints ain't the same okay so let me know comment down below let me know your thoughts on that specific topic and now you see the change in tone i'm headed to work y'all so i'll pick the camera back up later y'all y'all see what color i got on pink my head pink pink <laughs> it's pink garage top okay oh, all right so the question of the hour is if you have a first time partner sexual encounter are you obligated to tell them what you will what you can and cannot do for example y'all let me just tell y'all if y'all didn't know yet amazon has a riding seat if your knees hurt and stuff like that they have a seat that you can sit on put on top of your partner and you can ride okay without having to bend and all that. It got a little hole in the middle so he can come on through. Yes, they got one of them. I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can see it. But are you obligated to tell or should you tell them, I can't do certain things. So if that's what you expect, then, then you might want to pick a different ride. Because this ride can't bend and put my butt on my knees and all that extra stuff. 
So I think it's gonna come up in conversation when y'all are talking and y'all ooh and eyeing on each other and I can't wait to get with you, this, that, and the third. You gonna say, well, look here, baby. You know, I don't know what you're used to. Hello. But I can't, you know, I can't do all that, but I can do a lot of this. Yeah. You know, and he gonna probably tell you, well, you know, I ain't got no 13 inch penis, so don't expect. <laughs> No short, short man. Yeah. You should already have that conversation prior to your sexual encounter. Because, baby, I'm going to tell you, I can't do. I can get on top, but it's not going to be. It's a limited time. That's it. You better try to get it like while you can. You better, <laughs> you better get it while you can. Do you hear me? What you got to say, Key? This is the married woman right here. I'm just shocked. Because they have a what? Oh, I'm so what? <laughs> <laughs> a ride and see. They have a rind seat, you, you straddle it on top of your partner, and you sit on it, and his his dick come up in between. Mm. And it makes it comfortable for those ladies who don't have knees like Meg and more knees like Esther. I'm gonna go you better go back. <laughs> yeah, listen, y'all check, check down in the description box. I'm going to put a link for this rind seat. Don't put me a difference in you. I'm going to order my from Amazon. They sent me some bullshit. <laughs> It was in a little small pack. I still don't know what it is. And I still didn't get my ride seat. And I still want my ride seat. Okay, okay. We yeah, cause I, I have to tell people my check engine light is on. And uh it ain't like it used to be. I'm not this to grab holding no ceiling fan, twirl around, swing around and land on a dick. I'm not. It's just not gonna happen. My knees have three pumps max. That's it. Three. Mm. And one is getting down there. That's one. <laughs> yeah, that includes that. <laughs> that's fine. What y'all think? Y'all coming down fine. below now? That's fine. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. And um, I know you guys saw that last clip, and I know you are intrigued. A lot of you uh, don't want to come to realization that those knees are not like how they used to be. So um, I'm just going to do you the favor. And I've included a link. Um, I did find the riding chair, which I've coined the name the riding chair. It's called Fantasy Love Making Seats or whatever. And um, I'm going to include a link in the description box. AliExpress has them in stock. So don't y'all delay. Y'all go get your riding seat today. Because I know a lot of you guys want to ride that thing like a rodeo. Hawk tie it like a rodeo. And your girl Jay is giving you what you need to be successful. All right, you guys, until next time. <laughs>